It's good to have you join us on AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari has directed the immediate suspension of the 20th edition of the National Sports Festival to be held in Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. The Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari, made the announcement at the presidential villa in Abuja, Nigeria, after meeting with President Mohamed Buhari alongside the Minister of State for Health, Olorunibe Mamora. He said that the President took the initiative and gave the directive that the National Sport Festival should be postponed as a precautionary measure against the spread of the coronavirus, adding that a new date will be communicated later. We proceeded to uh, the Presidency to brief Mr. President. After briefing Mr. President, Mr. President took the decision and gave the directive that the National Sports Festival, Christine Edo 2020, should be postponed as a precautionary uh, move against the spread of COVID-19. The Nigerian Minister of State for Health, Olorunibe Mamora, revealed that a Nigerian doctor, Olumide Okunuga, has died in Canada after contracting coronavirus. Mamora stated this while briefing the media on updates on the COVID-19 situation in the country. Olumide Okunuga, a Nigerian doctor who lived in Italy, was reported to have contracted the virus in Canada. The 63-year-old doctor was a pathologist until his death. And still talking health, the Minister of Health Nigeria Osagi Ehani in a message by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control this Tuesday announced the third case of coronavirus in the country. The case is a Nigerian who returned to Lagos from the United Kingdom and developed symptoms during her 14-day self-isolation. She is said to be clinically stable and is being treated at the infectious disease hospital, Lagos State, Nigeria. The president of Ecuador, Lenin Moreno, said eight South American countries that form part of the regional alliance, PROSO, have agreed to unify measures for the entry of people into each country in their response to the novel coronavirus. He added that the countries such as Ecuador, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Paraguay, Colombia, Peru and Guyana would undertake campaigns to deal with disinformation, biased messages, fake news and establish joint purchasing protocols to avoid price speculation. Jack Ma, a co-founder of Alibaba, a Chinese e-commerce company, announced the donation of 6 million masks and 1.1 million testing kits to help fight coronavirus in Africa. In a statement by Jack Ma this Monday, he said the world cannot afford the consequences of a coronavirus pandemic in Africa. So far, 27 African countries have recorded cases of coronavirus, the latest being Bene, Liberia, Somalia and Tanzania. In the same vein, the Russian government has ordered schools in Moscow to temporarily close down and large public events be rescheduled in an effort to prevent the spread of coronavirus in the country. The mayor of Moscow, Sergei Sobyanin, this Monday said there were about 100 cases of the virus in Russia, most of which are in Moscow, and as such, schools in the nation's capital are to be closed for nearly a month until April 12th, pending further assessment. You're watching AD4 TV Radio News Update. We'll go on a short break now. Up next, APC postpones neck meeting in Nigeria. Nigerian federal government suspends plans to borrow $22.7 billion. Nigerian doctor supports NAFDAQ warnings against the use of paracetamol for cooking. Most of will return to stay. AD4 TV Radio, with focus on education with emphasis on research and innovation, science and technology, women and girl child education, children, health, youths and sports, socio-political and economic reforms, security, environment, entrepreneurship and entertainment. We'll give you information at your fingertips. Learn on the go. Follow AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube. AD4 TV Radio. Reliable and credible. We love you, AD4 TV Radio. You're welcome back. The governor of KB State, Nigeria, Abubakar Bagudu, at the presidential villa this Monday said, the National Executive Council meeting of the All Progressives Congress has been postponed indefinitely. Bagudu, who is the chairman of the Progressives Governors Forum, announced this while briefing State House correspondent after he led the All Progressives Congress Governors to meet with President Muhammad Buhari in his office. 
The National Executive Council meeting was expected to decide the fate of the party chairman, Adatu Shomale, after an Abuja High Court directed him to stop parading himself as the chairman of the ruling party. Among the issues we discussed was the need with the resolution that the governors have taken to work together and resolve all the issues in the, in the party, in our party, and also to seek Mr. President support to postpone the National Executive Council meeting that was proposed, was scheduled for tomorrow until such a time that the governors are able to report back. The Minister of Finance, Nigeria Zainab Ahmed, this Monday at the 2020 International Conference on the Nigerian Commodities Market, organized by the Securities and Exchange Commission in Abuja, said the federal government has suspended its $22.7 billion external borrowing plans due to current realities in the global economic landscape. According to Zainab, the government would not go ahead with the borrowing program even if it secures the approval of the National Assembly. She explained that the decision of the government to suspend the borrowing was because market indices do not support external borrowings at the moment. Also speaking, Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo stated that the government was taking steps towards developing the Nigerian commodities market, using it as a major drive for its economic diversification efforts. The Federal Ministry of Health Nigeria reiterated its commitment to scale up efforts to address challenges on prevention of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and AIDS in the country. Assistant Director National AIDS Hepatitis and STI Control Program of the Ministry, Dr. Ijadola Ulubenga said this at a documentary screening on prevention of mother-to-child transmission organized by AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Still in Health, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control recently alerted the public on the dangers of the use of paracetamol tablets to soften meat used in food preparation. The agency also warned Nigerians to stop using plastic materials, particularly polythene bags popularly known as nylon, for food packaging to prevent cancer. Our correspondent spoke to a medical practitioner on the health implication of not abiding to the warnings. Here is the report. Following several warnings, by the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control to Nigerians on the use of paracetamol in cooking and food packaging with plastic materials, Dr. Safia Aouda sheds more light on the proper use of paracetamol and the dangers of abusing the drugs, especially when used for cooking. Uh, paracetamol, as we know, is a drug used for pain, also to reduce temperature, that's fever. But a lot of people now abuse it. But paracetamol itself, has a lot of issues. That's why even as doctors, when we prescribe it, we don't prescribe it excessively. Sometimes for three days and we stop, depending on what you are treating. Like taking paracetamol for more than four grams a day has effects on the system, on the liver and the kidneys. It can actually damage the liver, paracetamol, especially when excessive. Can damage the liver, can also cause effects on the kidneys. So, I don't know, it's not good for people to start using paracetamol in food. She also spoke on the health implications of packaging food in plastic materials, especially when it's hot. And you know why you use the uh, nylon? Because when it's hot, it also releases some chemicals also. So, you shouldn't use nylon on some of those. You can use other means of wrapping food, other things that are available that you can use instead of using the nylon. It can be carcinogenic, depending on what is being used, what type of linon, some are worse than the other, some, some linon are better, like the black ones I think are even more dangerous. So you need to, some of those things you may not know, in future can cause cancers. Mm -hmm. Like even the sachet water too, the, the whatever, the linon they use in sachet, it's also, when sun heats it, also has some most other chemicals released. So these things should be limited as much as possible. Alex Imano, reporting for AD4 TV Radio. Abuja. Surrogacy is an arrangement often supported by a legal agreement whereby a surrogate mother agrees to bear a child for another person or persons who will become the child's parent after birth. Surrogate mothers are usually paid for their services, an act known as commercial surrogacy. People may seek a surrogacy arrangement when pregnancy is medically impossible or when pregnancy risks are too dangerous for the intended mother. It is considered one of many assisted reproductive technologies. We spoke to some residents in Abuja, Nigeria, on their perception on surrogacy. The report. Surrogacy, a technique used by couples to get children, is when a medical practitioner gathers egg from a woman 
fertilizes them with sperm from the man and places the embryo into the uterus of another woman who is called the surrogate mother. The surrogate mother then carries the baby until birth. She doesn't have any genetic ties to the child because it wasn't her egg that was used. Some residents of Abuja, Nigeria expressed their opinion on surrogacy. You know, there are some people that you can see, it's naturally that they can't be able to give birth, you understand? But it's not something that you should be ashamed of or something that maybe you should feel bad about. Like, if such stuff happened to you, what I would, may ad like what I would advise is that you rather go for an adoption. People should be allowed to do whatever they want to do. It's, it's a choice. If you want to adopt, it's up to you. If you want the surrogacy thing, it's up to you. So it's, I, I, I am, I'm for freedom anyway. Whatever you want to do. So I know there are some people that would like adoption. There are still some people that would like the surrogacy. So it's a thing of choice. It's more better to adopt and stand yourself that uh, privilege for you not to come maybe tomorrow or next tomorrow and somebody will be telling you, hey, maybe this is my child. Maybe this went through this and through that. So in order to avoid Avoid that it's more much better for us to go for adoption. Gracious Ogun reporting for AD4 TV Radio Abuja. On a lighter mood, an ostrich has the biggest eyes in the whole animal kingdom, and its eyes are bigger than its brain. Please share your thoughts on this with us on our social media handles at AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. That's it on AD4 TV Radio News Update coming to you live from Abuja. Nigeria's federal capital. You can join the conversation on our website www.ad4tvradio.com. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube page at AD4TV Radio. Many thanks for watching. I am Merciful Ajinomo.